What is up, motherfuckers? Who have I become? Why did I do that? I know my knee is gonna pop out. So why do I do that? I'm fucking out of breath, man. Why do I do stuff like that for the internet? <sighs> it's hot. So what is up guys? It's Simuchu. Oh wait, I don't go by Seamus anymore. <laughs> well, there's nothing. Kieran Chu. See, see, there's nothing. You can't just do anything anymore. Kieran doesn't sound good with with Pikachu. And today we're gonna do something a little different than a long video. Sorry, I'm really out of breath. Than a really long video that I usually do because I don't have anything to do this Wednesday, and so I'm gonna do a tag. And so, this is a Halloween tag I found on Tumblr, but, um, I don't, I'm just gonna answer it, it's got like 31 questions, and I'm gonna call this, the Spoopy Halloween tag, motherfucker, I mean not, Spoopy, Spoop Boop a Doop, see I'm fucking cute, this is why a woman likes me. Okay, so we're gonna go on to question one. Question one is favorite horror or Halloween theme song. Um, let me see. Let me check my phone. I think I have three. You got a headbang for this, right? I was so into it too. I also have another one off of the same album. I'm pretty sure, maybe not. This one is by Panic at the Disco, I believe. Yes. I'm gonna skip it a little bit because it's the same song, but by Panic at the Disco, so. Can you play? I don't know the words. I'm ashamed. I'm very ashamed. Uh, every time. What is this in here? They got a little tree. How queer you would ever think you lie. Ah. Okay, question two. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Um, Donald Trump. That would be fucking scary, man. 
That would be really fucking scary. Number three, have you ever played with a Ouija board? Or a... Sorry, it's a Ouija board. Because I'm retarded. I'm sorry I used that word, by the way. No, my best friend has a freaking Ouija board. And I've always wanted to play it. But it just sits there. And I haven't gotten the chance to ask him about it. Because I'm, I'm kind of shy, if you haven't noticed. Number four. Favorite horror monster or villain? Um... You guys, have you ever seen that movie Trick or Treat? And there's like that little guy and... Yeah, he scares the shit out of me. I like him. Number five. The creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. Um... Uh, one time, I went to go and smoke a cigarette in the garage, and then I was done smoking a cigarette in the garage, and I came in the kitchen, because the kitchen's right there, um, to get some food or something, and I don't know what happened. I didn't even touch that door, I didn't go and visit the pantry or anything, but all of the fucking sun-kissed orange, you know, orange soda, they all just roll out on the floor in this big-ass fucking clang and shit. And, um, it was like 3 or 4 in the morning, too, because, oh my god, and so I was like, one, the fuck, if there is a ghost in here, you're gonna wake bitches up, and then I'm gonna get in trouble, and then two, if there is a ghost in here, I better fucking bolt, and I don't know if there was a fucking ghost or not, I just, my thing is what I do is I just run to my room and go to sleep, because if they kill me, they fucking kill me, I get it, I'm already trapped in the house with them. But I don't want to see it, and if I'm asleep, and maybe he stabs me in my sleep, or shoots me in my sleep, maybe I won't feel it, or it will be faster. I don't know. I just don't. I'm better if I don't see it. Because then I could just be like, okay, whatever, kill me. I'm not one white bitch in the movie that dies first, probably. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Um, not alone. I mean, I'm a pussy, but if the homies are down, then I'm gonna go with the homies. So, homies, if you're out there, you wanna go in a haunted house? Let's spend the night. They're probably not down. They're probably not down. Are you superstitious? Number seven? No. No. I don't think I am, honestly. Eight. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Okay, don't get me started on this, because I don't think I actually do, honestly. But I have a very, like, impressionable mind. And so just like trick or treat, I'm afraid I have no underneath my bed because I'm afraid to dangle my legs over the bed because I'm, I'm afraid that he's going to come out and slice my Achilles heel or something. I saw this post on, like, Facebook or Tumblr or something that was, like, some something on a creepypasta website. So I probably set myself up for a fucking disaster myself. But it was, like... If, if, if you see anything out of the corner of your left eye, don't look at it, because I'm in the corner of your right eye, and if you look at me, you're gonna be safe. But if you look at what's in your left eye, he's gonna kill you, and he can only kill you when you see him. And I was like, hell no, hell no, and I've been thinking about it since, and I was like a year ago, and so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it's like, left is my side too, like, I always look to the left. I always do stuff with my left hand, even though I'm right-handed, I just do a lot more stuff with my left hand. So left is like my go-to side, and then one day I'm gonna look at this left side, it's my go-to side, and there's gonna be some demon monster bitch that's gonna kill me. I ain't about that life. Oh my god, that would be fucking scary. I can't do it if I see it. If I don't see you when you kill me, that's fine. But if I see you, I'm bolting. I'm fucking dying. I'm gonna wish I'm killing myself. Like, I, I cannot see that kind of shit. Nine. Which urban legend scares you the most? Um, the urban legend where if you go into your bathroom at, at night and you say Donald Trump in your mirror like three times, all your, your gross and hair and stuff in the drain will come up in one big pile and start yelling like racist slurs at you. 10. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Um, gore? I don't know. I like both. I feel like they could be both. You could have a thriller gore, but I think it, like, makes the, like, not makes the movie, but I think it's really, f like, I don't know how to describe it, but, you know, 
like Saw movies, it's really it's really cool and like it scares the shit out of me, you know, they're chopping up pieces. I can feel it. Like if you get shot in the kneecap on a movie, I will cringe for you because I have kneecap problems, okay? Maybe gore over thrillers, but I don't know. They have to have some sort of fucked up value to them for me to really, really, really appreciate them. So gore probably. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? I mean, I'm open-minded. I wouldn't say that I have- I just dropped a tiny suitcase. I wouldn't say that I have all my beliefs all worked out and I know what I believe in, per se. But, you know, I'm open to it and if, uh, if there's a multiple world and there's a multiple world or dimension, I, I don't know. Like, homies want me to go over there because it's like- because it's, it's, it's scary over here, I'm gonna go over there. And to other- what the fuck am I talking about? Jeez. What is my- uh, fucking crunk chorus turned me into a fucking weird ghetto scene, dude. Twelve. Ever made a potion of any sort? Um, I don't know, I drink sometimes. Does that count? No. I made, um, I made prison hooch. Does that count as a potion? Jeez. I need a life. 13. Do you get scared easily? Yes, I am like the most- you could scare me so easily, like, but I enjoy it, so I- I- I egg you on, I'm like, fucking scare me, fucking do it, man. And then I scare myself, or they scare me, and I'm like, oh, fucking shit, this is scary, but I dig it, so I'm into that shit if you're- if you're down. 14. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? No, actually. I've never played Bloody Mary. I am afraid to play Bloody Mary. Uh, apparently there was a, a girl in my elementary school who went in the bathroom and played Bloody Mary and never ever came out ever ever again in the public bathroom. Um, but I mean, she's never come out of the mirror if I thought about it, because I've thought about it 13 times or 3 times or whatever the thing is. I, I thought about it, but I've never said it or anything because I'm afraid that something actually is going to come out and so I would not prefer that at all. See I look to the left. I was about to get killed there. Shit. Um, I'm getting paranoid because we're doing a spooky tag. 15. Do you believe in demons slash the devil? Um, I don't believe in God or the devil but in a spooky scary Halloween sense then yes I believe in demons and I believe in the devil and because I think they're like really cool types of demons and scary monsters and they're super spoopy and yeah I totally believe in the spoopy demons and the devil. <sighs> Number 16. You're home alone but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Oh my gosh. Okay so I told you. I uh, think this house is haunted. I'm pretty sure I hear things bump in the night and it's been a lot more recently. Like especially my grandma's hearing it too. There's a lot of bumping in the night and I'm pretty sure we have animals or something but it's like it's it scared the crap out of me, but I hear footsteps sometimes. It's mostly on my roof, so I think we have uh, squirrels in the attic again. Maybe I'm not sure, but um, oh my gosh, it's just I usually just run the fuck to my bedroom. I don't care what I'm doing. Like I could be smoking a fucking bowl in the fucking garage. I could be halfway through that bowl. I'm only allowed to smoke outside, and I could hear fucking something in that garage, and I would fucking bolt. It doesn't. I don't even wait for a confirmation. I just go. I'm super scared, like I just, I won't, I don't want to see it. If it's there, I don't want to see it. So if I get away from it, then it's, it's gone for temporary and please don't let me see you. <laughs> mm -mm. 17. If you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? So I could, I could be a badass and think, oh my gosh, let's go in like some super scary movie like, like like trick or treat or like Halloween or like or like you know some other like scary movie like that or I could be what I would usually do is take the easy way out and be like oh what spoopy mu movies are there these days oh my god I wish that I could be in the nightmare before Christmas because oh my god Sally is such a fucking babe and oh my god I just love it when she takes her limbs off and, oh my god, I would go in that movie, because maybe if Jack went and became Sandy Claus or something, I could burn Sally. Ooh, get out of my way, Jack. I'm about to bone you, girl. Why is this playing? I... What the fuck? I don't listen to this music, I swear. Oh my god. 
If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Um, well, this one's too fucking hot. I'm sweating balls right now. Um, it would be a costume that's really, really cool that I've never done before. That would be super badass every year. Or probably a really shitty pun. 19. Would you ever go it to a graveyard at night? I would, I would be down. I mean, I'm afraid of the graveyard. Like, it's a graveyard. Like, I used to, the, uh, my psychiatrist, there's a graveyard right next to her place, and that never scared the crap out of me. Like, I know that there are dead bodies there, but I don't think they'll come out. Like, that hasn't been a theme in a while in movies, have you noticed? It's more zombies that are already zombies, and not zombies like the Evil Dead, or not Evil Dead, um, The Night of the Living Dead, where, you know, he says that, you know, from the book, I don't know what it says, and I'm not a diehard fan, but, you know, he says it, and then they all come out of the ground or whatever. That, 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 I'm probably sounding like a complete idiot right now, but, you know, that, that, that theme doesn't happen much anymore. It's usually, you know, an airport filled with sappy teen zombies that find love in humans, you feel me? So, okay, 20. In a zombie, in a zombie, in a zombie apocalypse, um, what is your weapon of choice? My weapon of choice is my best friend Dominic, and we've already talked about this. He's gonna fight off all the zombies, and I'm probably gonna be extremely terrified, and I'll, I'll hide behind Kenya, or I'll ride on Dominic's back. So either Dominic's my weapon, or Dominic's my tra transportation, but either way, I'm the pussy, and I'm gonna be the one person in the group that's just gonna lead us. They, they should just leave me. You guys need to leave me. I'm not gonna be good for your zombie apocalypse crew. I'm gonna die first before anyone. I'm gonna be the first person to get infected, probably. I'll be a zombie. Fuck you. I'm gonna be a fucking zombie. I'm gonna come after you. No. We already decided that it's gonna be like, um, Shaun of the Dead, where if I become a zombie, him and I are gonna be best friends for life. Like, where I'm gonna be chained up so I don't eat anyone, but we're gonna play fucking video games and shit and smoke weed still, and I'm gonna be a fucking zombie and it's gonna be fucking cool, so. And even if we all turn into zombies, we're all gonna be super chill zombies, so. 21. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Um, honestly, um, maybe Halloween party because there's probably gonna be, like, weed and alcohol and, you know, lots of stuff to forget my terrible life with. 22. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, girl slash boy? The first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? Honestly, I would probably be the first to die, the comic relief, or the smart one. Like, I have a strong feeling that I shouldn't doubt myself as much, and I'd probably be the really good person to go through for, like, thinking about the smart stuff and not, like, the weapon stuff. So, like, you know, I'd be planning and shit. 23. Do you have to watch... Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so that you can go to sleep? I used to do that, and now... I never sleep anyway, so I'll watch like four scary movies, and then I'll just chill for a little bit, and then I'll probably knock out. That's how that works. 24. Whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? During the scary movie, I'm the person who probably yells at the characters, honestly. Like, I, I'm one of those people, it's not even just a scary movie, I'm yelling at my favorite characters in my favorite TV show. I'm yelling at fan fictions I'm reading, you know, I'm reading this one that my friend's making me read right now, and it's actually really good, even though I don't understand anything about the fandom whatsoever. But I'm over there just like, just like, Dirk, you idiot, oh my god, and I don't even know who Dirk is, I'm just like, oh my, you, you literally did the one thing that, ugh. So, but yeah, so say, say, say Dirk's in like a scary movie, you fucking idiot, don't fucking open that door, don't do it, don't fucking do it, I'm that person. 25. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I'm can scare, but I'm not very good at it. Um, people usually try to scare me because I'm easy to scare, but I've already said that I enjoy it, so. 26. Favorite scary book? I don't read scary books. I'm not a scary book person. I mean, I used to read Goosebumps. That's like the only scary book I would read. I don't think they're interesting. 
Like, I want to re- I don't want to read the scary, I want to watch the scary, I'm more of a- In that situation, I'm more movie or book. But in most situations, I'm more- Sorry, my camera died. Um... 27, how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? I was probably like five, six, or seven, somewhere in that area. Um, I was very young, and it probably traumatized me, but you're never gonna... Dude, I just realized that besides that, you can barely see that, but Kenya also drew me. And so, oh my gosh, it's cute. I'm so happy to have a character for myself. But anyways... Um, what was your first Halloween costume? I'm pretty sure it was Kim Possible. I was Kim Possible for like three years in a row. That or Daphne from Scooby-Doo. I do not remember for the life of me. 29. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? If anything, if all else fails, this, again, I was this last year, but maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I'll stick a knife in my throat or something like that. Make it spoopy or something. But probably this again, honestly. I'm fucking lazy. And I, I don't have any time. I have like four days or five days. 30. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet. So spooky. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet. For example, black cat, owl, bat, rat, and wolf. What would you pick? Um, I would probably pick a rat because rats are super cute. Like rats or like a black cat. Because I like pussy. 31. Trick or treat? Bitch, if you trick me with my motherfucking food, I swear. Like, those are my motherfucking treats. Don't fucking trick me with my treats. That's my motherfucking food right there. I like food, okay? Alright, guys. So, um, that was this video. I'm sorry. There's, like, a big clusterfuck of, uh, rambunctious and obnoxious energy but um i'm very hyper right now and i need to get this out of the way and i probably have schoolwork to do so yeah i hope you have a very spoop boop a doop halloween and spoop boop a doop hey lesbians you're kind of in my recording spot here i don't know if you if you realize that but you're you're blocking the way um okay well obviously you don't give a fuck so Spoopy can, spoopy can, does whatever a spoopy can does. Can't you swing from spooped on? If she does, then she's pooped on. See, this is why I don't write music. <laughs>